Hey everyone, today we will see how to create and assign calendar to your project in a right way in Primavera. If you are a beginner and getting start with any project in Primavera, you must know that project scheduling cannot be done without calendar. So it is very very important to create calendar in a right way to avoid issues and problems later on. Let's dive in into Primavera. After opening Primavera, this is the default window of the software. To create calendar, jump into Enterprise and go to Calendar. Here you can see that there are three options Global, Resource and Project. They are basically the three types of calendar. Uh, what does actually uh, each type of calendar mean is that if you create a new project under global pool it will assign to your resources activities and your enterprises and if you will create a project under resource pool it will only apply to resources only of your project and the last uh, is project calendar if you will create uh, under that pool it will assign to the project activities and resources so as for now most of the time calendar is created in global pool so as for now let's create a calendar under a global pool so first of all you need to have a copy of existing calendar let's create a copy of existing calendar for example this calendar 6 into 24 select this and rename it according to your project name So we have created the calendar, now we need to modify it. To modify it, click here and you will see two options. Total work covers per day and detail work covers per day. Most of the people do changes from total work covers per day and later on they face issues and problems. So the best way is to create, modify the calendar under this tab. So create on work week and the first step is to select all the days and convert them into non-work select all the days and choose all the boxes and convert into non-works so you will see that all the day of the weeks are set to non-working hours so according to your project specifications and requirements uh, for example i want sunday uh, as a non-working and all other days are as working days so select all other days and uh, for each day i want working time from 8 am to 4 pm so choose the boxes from 8 to 4 pm and convert them into working time now i want break from uh, 12 to 1 uh, 12 to 1 pm so choose both elements and convert them into non work now hit ok and when you will go back you can see that all your days are set to 8 hours per day now if you want to create non working uh, days just uh, for example is the 14 august Click that day and convert this into non-work. For example, I want half day, uh, some days I want as a half day. For example, uh, 30 uh, on 30th Friday, I want this, uh, the laborers should work from 8 a.m. to 12 uh, p.m. So for this, you don't need to uh, set the time from here because it will not specify that either the laborers will work uh, which part of the day. Uh, first time or the second so the best way is to choose the day and detail work hours and from here you will uh, you can change the remaining part of the day from 1 to 4 pm and convert this into non-working so uh, on the 30th the laborers will work only from 8 am to 12 pm so now
now hit ok and your project is created now select choose it as a standard by double clicking and close it so before creating any new project you will need to uh, set uh, this calendar before to this you can do from a project detail tab so you first need to uh, create a new project uh, i have created this project for this uh, as of time now and uh, let's convert this calendar into 800 sv and select this now your project is created and assigned to the specific project now you can uh, check it by uh, entering uh, the activities and you uh, will see that your project has assigned and you will face no issue so this was the video if you have liked it and it was useful then please share and subscribe